What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I was just checking out a video from fighthype.com. Shout out to them. And they were doing a side by side comparison between Mike Tyson hitting the mitts and Deontay Wilder hitting the mitts and a similar combo. And watching these two, I'm convinced that. There's no comparison, you know, and Mike Tyson is a fast, compact fighter. You have to understand he's about 5'9", 5'10", maybe. You know, he might have once upon a time been 5'8", I mean 5'10", but he's probably about 5'9", now. So, you know, you shrink as you get older. But you can clearly see his form, you know, the speed, you know, it's just an overall more impressive uh, combination, demonstration. You know, he turns with his hips, he commits, he turns over every punch. You know, and even after he finished the combo, he was already in position to parry and slip another punch because that's how you're taught if you're taught the right way. As far as Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder throws this punch and he turns away from the opponent. And look, first of all, we gotta be fair about this. Mike Tyson was overall definitely, definitely more impressive. There's not a comparison, but honestly, why would it be in a comparison? Why would you be shocked? Even at 53 years of age, Mike Tyson knows how to do something. You get someone like Mickey Wad, right, from Boston, Mickey Ward is a fighter that can still hit the mitts and he still practices to this day. And I know he's about Mike's age. Hold on, let me see. How old is Mickey Ward, the boxer? 54 years old. 54. Okay, so um, those guys have muscle memory. They know how to fight. They don't stop fighting when they quit fighting, when they stop fighting professionally. Mike is supposed to know how to do this a lot better than Deontay Wilder for many reasons. For one, he was trained by one of the best uh, trainers at that time in that era, right? Training and pouring everything he had into this young soul, this guy that's naturally gifted anyway, short, stocky, you know, 180 pounds, and he's like 12 years old, okay? He's muscular, physically, naturally. Um, he learns how to commit. He's a shorter fighter. He was fighting since he was, what, 11, 12 years old. Deontay Wilder didn't step into the ring until he was 18, 19. So it's really unfair for, I know I see people clowning him, you know, and the thing is, he doesn't supposed to do what Mike Tyson can do. Even at this, even to this day, Mike Tyson supposed to smoke him on the mitts, okay? It's supposed to look impressive, better form, better everything, better boxing fundamentals. Because for one, Deontay Wilder, he started at a late age, what, 18, 19 years old, on top, maybe later than that. But on top of that, he didn't practice because he was surrounded by people that told him he was doing everything right. So, no, he's not going to learn from someone like, he didn't learn from someone like Customato. He would have gave Deontay Wilder hell. Deontay Wilder, again, is a lot taller. His punches are longer. They're lankier. So they won't look as impressive if someone that throws and he doesn't Mike Tyson doesn't extend his full you know jab you know his jab is bent so to come back to his chin you know you know those type of punches coming from a short fighter you know in the mitts they're gonna look more impressive on top of the form and the experience and the muscle memory and all the millions of times that he done that combination right millions people how many times do you think Mike Tyson's done that same combo? And comparing it to how many times you think Deontay Wilder's done that same combo? No comparison. Okay? So, Mike looks better. And I know a lot of people's going to clown Deontay Wilder. But look, he's not known for his form. He's known for that straight right one trick pony punch. Okay? He's not known for combinations. No how. Think about it. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, right hand. Every so often, right hand, left hook. Right? Windmill. <laughs> right?
right? That's what he's known for. So, yes, he's going to look more impressive. Mike's been doing it longer. Mike started younger. All those are factors, shorter, heavier-handed. Well, I didn't say heavier-handed, you know. Um, just better everything. Okay, so before people start saying, oh, well, the side-by-side -side comparison, man, you know, that's bad. A 53-year-old is, is smoking this young guy in training. Well, yeah, because he's done it. Deontay Wilder, again, isn't known for training. People like Anthony Joshua is, Floyd Mayweather, those guys, you know what I mean? Canelo, those guys are known for extensive training, right? And Canelo really gets tired and stuff like that. Well, by fair play, Joshua did too. But those guys are known for their physiques. They're known to be gym rats, okay? Evander Holyfield, another guy, okay? These guys are known to be physically in shape. Deontay Wilder is just tall and lanky, and he's, I think he's naturally built the way he is. You know what I mean? You know, he's not known. He's like, man, I'm tired. You know, he's like Danny Glover and Lethal Weapon. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. Right? That's the attitude that Deontay Wilder has in the gym. So, again, but I'm going to say this. You know, we know we can't, you can't rag on Deontay that hard because of the obvious, of the things that I mentioned. However, Deontay Wilder put himself in this situation to be compared to Mike Tyson when he said he'll knock out a prime Mike Tyson. See, that all comes from people. It comes from arrogance. It comes from having the big head. It comes from believing your own hype. All those yes men that told him, yeah, Deontay, you're the best, you're the greatest. You should have known you weren't the best or the greatest when you looked at your banking account when you looked at your resume, when you looked at other fighters making way more money than you, you couldn't help to compare that. You know what I mean? You think envy didn't seep in? You know what I mean? He might not want to admit it, but that was what it is. You know, you saying, hey, I'm better than Mike Tyson. I, I can understand you have to have a confident mindset to believe you can beat anybody, but you're talking about a fighter that hasn't fought in over 10 years professionally Mike Tyson and then you go back to his prime so given everything that Mike's done given his fundamentals given his training given you know the trainer you know given everything that he's been through in the sport why would you even put yourself in that situation so this warrants it it does he shouldn't have said all these things to compare himself to Mike Tyson, someone that's not even his enemy, you know, and you're talking about someone that's not your enemy. Again, it could be envy, you know, because again, think about it. Mike Tyson is the American champ. Deontay Wilder was the American champ. So of course he looked at himself, comparing himself, him having his knockouts to Mike Tyson. Okay. So I think Mike may way more money. Mike was Mike Tyson was White Mike Tyson is worldwide known. Okay? Deontay Wilder had problems getting known in his own country. So I can see why Deontay would want to say, "Hey, I'm better. I'll knock out Mike Tyson because it's good to want to attach yourself to someone that's already known." Hello Anthony Joshua, right? Because that's what he did in that and it worked. It, it ain't like it wasn't effective. It worked. People know who Deontay Wilder is, right? Because he, because he, look, because people knew who Anthony Joshua was. Because what did Joshua do? He knocked out Klitschko. Klitschko's was what they reigned the heavyweight division, and a lot of them were hated for reigning the heavyweight division. That is so. Tyson Fury started that spark. Anthony Joshua uh, 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 continued with the flame. Okay. That's what happened. People know who Anthony Joshua is. You know, so again, I can understand why people compare because he was the first one to call out uh, Mike Tyson and say he could beat Mike Tyson after the fact. You know what I mean? And it had to come from some type of arrogance, jealousy, or envy. But anyway, 
You guys tell me what you think about this. I will leave the link and let you guys look at the side-by-side -side comparison between Mike Tyson, you know, doing his demonstration, hitting the mitts, and Deontay Wilder with his own uh, demonstration. So tell me what you think. Please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.